Welcome everyone to your intro video for December 17th to the 23rd of 2018. Um, this will be, um, I'm not going to do all 12 signs like this, like I usually do a recorded video, but it will be an audio tarot upload and um, each sign will have their own. But for all of you, there will be access to the um, audio tarot or recorded videos as private readings, but the phone call option is still not an option just yet. It might open up soon, but not just yet. For the week, here you go. Much love to you. Much light. I wish you the best and uh, have a good one. Welcome Pisces to your love reading for December 17th to the 23rd of 2018. So it looks like a pretty good reading. Now the page of cups is coming through and that is an energy of, um. that's your emotions throughout the week. So you're feeling lively, you're feeling creative. That means that you are starting a relationship or accepting it, either offering it or embracing a connection. And this is like parties, gatherings, different things. Um, some of you could be pregnant. You could be having a child. There could be a lot of people who could be embracing the connection or embracing your relationship in some way. With the six of wands being there. That's like um a gift that's coming through slowly. You're recognizing it. Um, any kind of ability that you and your partner might have is something of uh, synchronicity things going well for you so um, that's good to see so energetically feeling confident emotionally feeling strong with the six of wands um, you and your partner may be embracing one another but as the week moves on it's like yeah your partner has this attraction to you um, there's a new spark there that they might want to act on but they may hold themselves back in some way and um, emotionally kind of all over the place not really sure of how to respond to the connection so the four of cups is in reverse of um, something that might be falling away and when you feel like the energy yeah when someone has the impulse to come towards you but they don't make the necessary action or take the action then you kind of resort to what the tower brings through which is frustration or kind of pent up emotions or whatever it might be and then you're feeling a bit hopeless or not feeling all that enthusiastic at times i don't feel again overall page of cups that's enjoying yourself having a good time but when you kind of give off the energy of um, the tower that means that something you feel is off and it could be frustrating because the ten of swords is with your partner the person that you're into what they bring towards you and the six of cups is showing up um it seems like it's either someone from your past for some of you this is a uh, relationship or something that you ended and the the newer person that you're with or you're trying to get closer to they it seems like they want to but some of you could be um taking your time or kind of de denying a connection in some way that might be an issue for some but it seems like um even though you separate from somebody or you're frustrated you want to connect you want the love to be there you want to feel it you want to embrace it but there's something going on with you and someone else you may be dealing with um the emperor is in reverse with the nine of cups in reverse um few different things emotionally they have to make some changes within personally with themselves doing things different you know being determined to you know satisfy their own goals and things in life and you as well where if that's something that you fall away from if you're not determined if you're not having your eyes set on some kind of goal or something that you want to accomplish it tells you to turn these things around so that you can move forward in the right way so some of you could be dealing with an Aries or you might be, even if it's a fatherly figure that does not agree with you or a family member that doesn't agree with your relationship or how it might be going through, that might be an issue. But then the outcome, you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse along with the Ace of Pentacles and then you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which are cards of working towards more stability, the future, the home environment, having it how you want to, having the home or um, things that you would like when it comes to material possessions and things like that. The resources that you have working towards whatever uh, fulfillment that you feel you deserve what you need whatever it is because it could lead to a new beginning with the ace of pentacles being there and sometimes you might be saving for a marriage a wedding um engagement whatever it might be could you see wedding the situation involves marriage then you have soulmate yes this is your soulmate it seems like some of you are connecting with somebody even if this is a younger relationship um there's something you might receive signs and messages that come through that continues to show you that there's something strong with you and someone else and sometimes it does require that you end uh something that you've been with for a while in order to recognize it and, and embrace the connection and, and if that doesn't happen the tower can come through not only through your action and through a decision that you make from responding to that person but the universe can kind of throw some kind of obstacle in a way to tell you hey this is not the right way to go about the connection or the other person might not be doing what they need to do so 
it can kind of pull you away or kind of throw an obstacle in the other person's way until things are shifted in the right direction. Um, so that's why you have to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, that's where they could be very different, do things differently, um, address things differently. You might not communicate well all that much, um, different ideas about planning, but there does seem to be some good things that can happen with you and the other person. But it seems like you might get frustrated with how that person could be behaving, the things that they might be doing. Um, whatever it might be intoxication um vices that they may need to let go of whatever it might be could be an issue with the connection and some of you are definitely saving so you can disconnect from whatever you have put it into and run through with embracing this new love connection or um embracing this um commitment that does seem to be there for sure all right so you can always let me know how the week might go it does look good but it seems like there might be a um Oh, there is a, an eclipse that's coming. Interesting. Okay. So the page pages are children. Um, there are a few different people showing up here, but the pages uh, can speak about something where you're going out doing different things when the eclipse, I think it's eclipse in the sign of cancer, which activates your fifth house of um, relationships, love, creativity, self-expression, doing different things, kind of socialize entertainment and when the eclipse comes, that means that you might disconnect or put something to an end if you feel like it's not working out for you in the right way. Um, and then you're going to have to address these things. And I feel like that's what might happen, but all for the better, because it can bring you to a better place and understanding with you and your love partner currently or your potential love interest. All right. So that's your reading for the week. I hope the messages did help out. Tons of love to you. Lots of light. Tons of healing. I wish you the best. And you can always go to the website, psychicloveheals.com, to schedule something personally for you. So have a good one.